Hey YouTube, Danger Awaits you here. Been playing lots of Baldur's Gate 3, and I've been enjoying it so very much. Been trying to come up with build videos, but kind of got to get real far in the game and have a couple levels through so that people can see the things and the idea I was going for. But uh, I haven't even made it past Act 2 yet because I make so many characters, try so many ideas. The game is fun, so I kind of been enjoying just playing Act 1 and Act 2. And uh, I'm going to prolong playing Act 3 till I feel like getting to Act 3 on all these characters. So, who knows. But, we're not here about builds. We're not here about Act 1 or Act 2. Well, at least on my experience of it. We are here so that you can figure out how to get Mithara, Karlak, and Will all in one playthrough. So, the start of this is you want to go to the Grove and go inside the Grove. You know, the Grove Cove. And you'll be going through like, two stone doors. You're going to find this chest. And it's going to have some stuff from Kaga. It's going to be locked. It is going to be about Shadow Druids. Some things. It's a secret mission to do with Kaga. And as you do that mission, you want to convince her to not turn into a Shadow Druid. I didn't have any clips of that. I meant to take some, but I didn't have any clips about it. But you're basically gonna you know event not event her uh i can't think of the word but you're gonna make sure she's good and by doing that they'll make sure that the tieflings is safe now the tieflings being safe is ironic because of the things you'll do afterwards and i think it's a couple videos maybe one or two of these on there about these methods but i'm just putting one of a compilation out of it in total so you are going to have to go get will Make sure that he's in your party. But you're going to keep him at the camp. Eventually, you're going to go around and find Karlak. But when you get to Karlak... Time for some bloody work. <laughs> You're going to make sure that you're out of range of her so that way you don't start the introduction cutscene to her. And then you're going to hit her with a bow or a spell, anything that's in range or, you know, sort of out of her range. And you're going to attack her. She's going to attack you back. I missed right there, but she still got aggroed. You're going to beat her and essentially kill her. This is going to do the next part of Will's quest and make sure that he's not around Will's quest so that you can get the little robe and have him without any horns. The robe is supposedly a very good robe. I've been using it. I, I kind of just like it based on looks and I know that it's robes of the same style that have no bonuses but I wanted to have the bonus and the look and it's even the one that you can get from Isabel because it's supposed to be a Selunite's uh, robe I think. Should be. I could be wrong. But you take her down and after you take her down you're going to go back to Will. I'm probably just going to let the rest of this fight, you know, play out. But you're going to eventually go back to Will. And I will continue from when we get back to Will.
minds are as one. We'll seize you attack his infernal target. Karlak is hells. So, why am I frozen in doubt? Tell me it was right to strike her down. So we're back at the camp, and we're going to go back to Will and basically inform him of us taking down Carlac. I did leave all the conversations that I thought needed to be left in and the choices that I chose. I'm pretty sure I did all of them. I probably skipped maybe is a little bit or is I tried to skip as minimum as possible because I want to make sure everything worked because this was kind of my first run through of it, but it did work. Everything worked out. So... We'll just see from here throughout all the conversations what worked and what didn't work. But I'm telling you now, it, everything worked. He has no horns. Carlax still alive, and we get Minthara. Hail again, and may our strikes always find their marks. After you're done talking with Will, you go back to where Carlyle's body is and you revive her. You have to revive her as far away as you possibly can, though, because you don't want any introduction things to happen just yet. Now, also, I think it doesn't quite matter whether you have Will there or not, because it's more so about recruiting her, but just you would revive her as far away as you possibly can. And right after that, run away, because you don't want the cutscene to happen. We want to make sure that everything happens right after getting the robe, after telling Mazora that she's dead, after she, you know, rewards Will. So now that she's back up, we go back to camp, we sleep, and here comes Mazora, the, the, the fucking nine hells Mazora. But here we are. As this talk goes on, she's going to talk about, you know, him being on this leash, yada yada yada, his pact, all that other stuff. But um, it works, and I'll let the rest of the conversation go through. And he'll fetch. I say kill a fugitive tiefling, and well, I don't need to tell you. You said devils only. She was a tiefling, not a monster. Clause G, section nine. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Cheer up, Buttercup. Karlak had no heart. You did the world a favor. More to the point, you obeyed. He's the Blade of Frontiers. Devil's plaything just doesn't have the same ring. Speaking of... It's a pleasure. Shame that tadpole's gone and pissed on your party. But I'll be damned if it goes pissing on mine. I've got some errands to do. But don't you fret much, pup. I'll be back in three shakes of your tail. Keep an eye on him. And as you see here, voila, he's being rewarded for his oh-so-very-good deed. With no horns and a cool little robe to go with it. And you get to keep the rope for yourself or have it on him, regardless. Ah. 
We're looking ahead. be God's dad. Touch me! A great heat roar. Then you're lost in the blood war. What? Evidence. I can exp- Another vision. Kalex blade, her rage and desperation. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You You served her. That's enough- Right after that, you go back to Karlak. You can have Will with you if you want, but, you know, you go back to Karlak, and you start her introductory, uh, introductory cutscene. This way, now you get Carla, because she's alive, and you get to keep the robe. How nice is that? I'm Carla. You already knew that. Well met. How would you, little back? You already then I played along. Zariel liked it so little. She said, "Fuck yeah." Then we can work on evicting this parasite. And I hug. See, she's in a party, you can level her, and everything goes about as smooth as it can be. As far as I was aware, this part worked. And then we move on to the next bit. Now talking about getting Minthara. Getting Minthara was not difficult at all, because you're not really doing much. You're avoiding the conflict of the Grove, the Druids, and the Tieflings, and um, the Goblin Camps, you're avoiding all of that. Yeah, you can go to the Goblin Camp and do anything that you have to do over there. You can, you know, get the Leviathan's uh, buff from uh, the one guy who hits you in the back with a mace. You can buy stuff from them. Honestly, even afterwards, they'll even still be there. So, um, you can do all of that stuff. You can do every little bit of that stuff. The only thing that you're going to really do is avoid killing anybody in there. Or, I think you can kill them, but just leave Minthara alive. As long as she's alive, I think everything should work out. So you'd leave her alive. You would go the way that I did it. I just went to a different region. So I think you actually have to get to the Last Light Inn or the Shadow Curse Lands. Because after you get to the Shadow Curse Lands, Minthara will be there. Her little cutscene of her failure and stuff will be there. Which will show now. True so. Who better to suss out his like? You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber, Truce. Zarel? Fancy name. Let's put our best foot forward. Or is it best feet? Praise the Absolute. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover Another the secret truce of the Absolute. The disciple will want to see you through the main doors. Be slandered! General, you saw my reports. You know it's not my fault. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. If I had been given drow warriors instead of goblin trash. Oi! What? You scrag! Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpoles, worms, urging you to obey. This is all in the same playthrough. As you can see, Minthara is talking to Catherine Thorne. I'm wearing the robe, it's just colored differently. But I am wearing the robe, and we know that Karlak is alive. I'll let this whole little talk go through just so that you'll see what dialogue options to pick and choose. But, 
Minthara is there, alive and well. Night Warden Minthara, you're crying. No! Make her passing slow, Disciple Zorel. Be creative. A new true soul come. And what do you have to contribute? A pity then that her faith was so. Take her below. No! Please! Mercy! Please! Ha! <laughs> bye bye, princess. Kill the goblins, too. Sorry, my lord. Try again. <laughs> Dispose of the rest, or better yet. Of course not, my lord. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. They are yours. You can hear in the seat. Yeah. You ain't gonna do anything drastic, are ya? We've been nothing but loyal! You serious? Adored Minthar. She cherished you, but a bloodlust. And I. Oh. And isn't you. Oh. The drow reaches out to you psychically, connecting with you for a moment. She is infected like. Come to observe, true soul. She is a lesson. None can rise so high that they cannot fall again. We are. Erasing her. Yes, your authority is great. We can learn, watching you break what little remains of her mind. Immediately, your mind is swept into a greater vortex. A psionic storm with Minthara at its center. Her torturers are not dominating her. They are destroying her mental defenses and exposing her to something else. The absolute. Navigating the storm, you reach them. So it is you who will make it swift, then. Anything to silence that thing. <laughs> Voice! I would prefer to make these bastards bleed. I will put my faith in you. Try to do as minimum amounts of cutting and editing as possible so that everybody can see all the routes I took, at least in during these dialogue checks. But after getting her to make sure she's alive, you'll go down to the prisons. And she's getting tortured. You have to help her out of this situation and then break her out of Moonrise Tower. No, no. My sister only meant to compliment your delicate work. Indeed. Seems I have a bit to learn yet. We ought to return to our posts, sister. <laughs> an ill thing to let an enemy show their back and live. Lead then. Minthara is supposed to be in a cell. You have some explaining to do. You avoided a fight this time. Is merely delayed. We will return and kill them all.
one soul. Of many thoughts, one mind. Halt! Deal with them. We heard she'd been escorted from her cell. The General ordered that she be repurposed, not freed. A apologies, Trousseau. Perhaps I misunderstood the General's orders. For the absolute. I last left Moonrise as a commander in the Absolute's army, obeying the voice of a god. I thought I had found a home and a purpose. Now I leave as an exile. But you risked your life to rescue me. For that, I am grateful. The artifact connects with her, pulling your minds together and showing her all that you have seen. The prism, your dream visitor, the protection that keeps you from obeying the absolute and becoming a lithid. She knows it all in a moment. Her mind reels, but is no longer clouded. She accepts the truth. She has no choice. There is much we must discuss. Do you have a safe place to camp nearby? Goodbye for now. I will see you soon. It does not compare with the comforts of home, but your camp is almost palatial in comparison to my previous accommodation. Thank you for allowing me to come here and for bringing me back to myself. Each memory that returns to me is more disturbing than the last. The things that I did in the name of the Absolute, the things that were done to me, they broke my mind. The best cure is vengeance for both of us. While our tadpoles live and the cult have the means to control them, we will never be safe. We must eradicate them, starting with General Thorm. I mean, Ketherick. My deference to him is a habit that will die hard, I fear. It is the safest place to be. Swear that you will keep me close. Until the Absolute is dead, at least. The Prism will protect me. You will fight alongside me and help me to get my vengeance. Right next to me is Carlag's tent to the right. I'm pretty sure most of you would know it if you've been playing it. Uh, sadly, I didn't show her. I meant to show her. I even meant to have her on the group. But um, I'm currently going down to Minthara. And she's at the camp, as you can clearly see. But it's as funny as it is, it's kind of just as straightforward as that. Minthara, Carlag, No Horns, Will, plus the robe. I think you're really getting the trifecta of the entire deal of a playthrough. Only problem is, the tieflings die. Can't help Carlac get her second, uh, second 
piece upgrade so that her touch is there so you know that's a problem i guess